It's already 4.45 and it's closed. This is what Hassan Quarini says he sees on a regular basis, a locked gate. It leads to a cemetery where hundreds are buried, including Quarini's two young children. His babies died last August. They were only one and three years old. We need the door opened again. The Islamic Society of Greater Kansas City maintains the cemetery. We talked with the manager who declined to speak on camera but said there's a set schedule when cars are allowed inside. The gates open Fridays and Sundays 9 to 5 and sometimes on Saturdays. Otherwise, people need to make requests that may not be granted. He says it's for security reasons. They've had several thefts of expensive equipment. By locking the door, the equipment is not safe. The only thing is achieved here is us suffering, visiting here. The manager tells Fox 4 the majority of people don't mind the schedule. Quirini disagrees. If I have a job in the weekend and I want to visit, uh, visit during the week, it's locked. And if I get off at 5, it's locked at 5. Management tells me when the gate is closed and locked, people can just park on the driveway and they can walk through this gate that's open 24-7. Problem is, the driveway is small and steep, and it's not accessible for the elderly and people with disabilities. And it's emotional. He says dozens of families are struggling. We talked with one woman who says her father couldn't visit her uncle or mother because he was in a wheelchair. Look how far it is. Quirini says his wife is pregnant. She and her children can't easily walk about a quarter mile to visit her other kids' grave sites. You cannot have my kids inside here hostage. You know, I want to be able to come in and visit. Quirini has offered to buy a padlock with a code that only families would know. Management tells Fox 4 that's not secure enough, even though this smaller gate is currently open 24-7. The manager also says there's a master plan in the works to improve the cemetery, but that could take two years. Quirini says families need change now. Reagan Porter, Fox 4, working for you.